Oh, yeah. Get it. A triumphant new jingle, and we get a new world. The Perplexing Pool. Yeah, it's going to be a fun one. And by that, I mean it's going to be really difficult. Because there's water everywhere, and we don't have blue Pikmin. Oh, boy. The Pilgrim Bulb. Grassy plains and meadows on this planet are carpeted with brilliantly colored flowers in bloom. When I encountered when I entered the atmosphere on my descent from space, I was stunned by the vibrant sight. The other day, a group of white Pikmin under my command detected an object buried under the surface and immediately began to dig up this colossal flower bulb. Somehow it hadn't yet sprouted into a towering flower. I plan to take it back to Hakutate and grow it there. My people will hail me as a botanical genius, and the mayor may even make me supreme flower commander. I thought that was an onion. The chance cube. When I gaze at this stone, I can feel my fate being forecasted. I know what's. G I mu It must know what's going to happen to me. I'm sure it sees that I'll be hailed as a brilliant visionary and a brave explorer when I return to Hakate. Yeah, yeah, okay. The interior of this hemisphere contains a chip, uh, a chip coated with charts detailing a new region. I explored this forest the last time I was here, but it's clear that it has undergone some dramatic changes. The plants and animals have also evolved significantly. I have given this forest a new name, the Awakening Wood. I must begin to form a hypothesis to explain why the forest changed so rapidly. Maybe it's a different forest. Or maybe they wanted to make sure you actually did explore new areas in Pikmin 2. So it's not just a cash grab. Alright, off to the perplexing pool. Oh, yeah. There are the yellow Pikmin. Woot, woot. All right. Uh, let's start by getting some of everything. Got to get our white Pikmin in case there are poison barriers. Gotta get our purple Pikmin for battle. Take Louie along as well. And we'll just fill our, our pocketses with uh, red Pikmin. Bada beam, bada boom. Alright. Gotta get those yellow Pikmin ASAP. Speaking of which, there they are. They're hanging out in a tree just watching us. And they're, let's not tell them there's a bug right behind them. Look! Off in the distance, wild Pikmin. Can you see them, Captain Olimar? They are yellow Pikmin. You encountered them when you crashed on this planet, correct? It would be most helpful if that they remain that they if they remember you like the red ones did. Yes, most helpful. It's a yellow Wallywog. Skadoosh. Get out of here. And we already found our first hole. My sensors are giving out foreboding signals. These signals could very well mean that this hole is filled with wretched, nasty bugs, vicious program terminating bugs. Bugs, you say? The Citadel of Spiders. It has fire and electric hazards. We do not want to enter there. We can't deal with the electric hazards right now, and electric hazards are by far the most dangerous type. Because the fire hazards, you at least get a chance to put them out, uh, the fire out by whistling at your Pikmin. The electric hazards, no, they just instantly die from electrocution. Not fun. Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay. This can be annoying. Tossing the purple Pikmin can be annoying. So this is the level that really introduces a lot of the puzzles. Okay. This is a swooping snitch bug, and we want to take him out as fast as- Stop shaking them off! There we go. Kill him. Kill him. Swooping snitch bugs can't kill your Pikmin, but they are super annoying because they will bury them in the ground. 
And we don't want that. Okay, that's a fiery Bulblax. That's not a nice thing to see. They're on fire, so only your fire Pikmin can actually do anything about them. Alright, we got some nectar. I am going to avoid Mr. Fiery Bulblax for the time being. Because we have better things to do. Okay. Fiery Blowhog. Now is not the time for a tutorial right now. I'm trying to deal with this enemy. What is this? A strange, mold-like, botanical entity has spread across the ground here. Interesting. I am detecting other plant life suffocating beneath it. Okay, he's in the water right now. We need him to march out of the water. Well, let's start by destroying this mold spore. Spider web thing. Why is the fiery blowhog hanging out in the water? There we go, we destroyed the mold spore, so now the berry plants will start growing. Gotta build the bridge! Another swooping snitch bug. Getting out of the water. He don't want to. Alright, well, the bridge will act as our shortcut, so... Here we go. This way we can carry the Pikmin. And he'll go faster now. Pikmin being treated like rose. Okay, that's a new enemy type. Those are sheer wigs. They're like sheer grubs, but they can fly. No, my berries! You guys were not here five seconds ago. Take those back. I hate that Blowhog. He's not moving out of the water, but he's still close enough that he can torch me if he wants. Okay. Swooping Snitch Bug's gotta go as well. I'm keeping all these guys... Go oh, no, no, shoot! Oh, no! I didn't take out the Shearwigs, and they ate a Pikmin. I forgot about the Shearwigs. They ate a Pikmin. I lost one. And I heard it some Pikmin drowning for no reason. That's bad. So, having Pikmin die in the cave isn't isn't too bad, because you can just reset to the beginning of the sub-level. Having a Pikmin die in the overworld is much worse, because you have to reset back to your last save, which is either the beginning of the day, or after you, uh... After you've completed the cave. Alright, I'm actually gonna copy my data over here. Just in case I end up accidentally losing a Pikmin and saving afterwards, that way I won't have to repeat everything. We get the triumphant fanfare again. Alright, new plan. We're taking out the Shearwigs first. Yes, yes, it's perplexing pool. It's a very... F As you can see, this is where the game ramps up the difficulty substantially. And now we get to see all the cutscenes again. Oh, wonderful. Oh, actually, no, we don't. Uh, apparently, even though it didn't save that we lost the Pikmin, it saved that we had seen the cutscenes. That's nice. Louie, you're part of this, too.
Oh, and this way we can kill those stupid uh, land leeches before they can eat my bitter berries. They literally must spawn out of nowhere just to eat the berries. That is true. You can use cave entrances as midday checkpoints. Uh, didn't realize they were this close. The problem is you can't leave the caves once you enter them until you reach the geyser. There we go. Killed them all. I think that was all of them. No, it's not. Saving those corpses for the yellow Pikmin. Yeah. How is the heck was it able to jump into the air with all of those blue, of those purple Pikmin on his back? Thank goodness we didn't use any. Didn't the robot guide say you could pause in the cave, press R to drop all the treasure and go out? Can you do that? I thought I thought the only way to escape was to reach a geyser, but actually that might be wrong. Certainly wouldn't be the first time I was wrong about something. Nor will it be the last. to stay behind, so that way you can grab that one Pikmin and take the long way back. Hi, you. I hate the swooping snitch bugs. Look alive. There's a second swooping snitch bug around here. Yep, there he is. I want to take him out before we get close to the water. I also would like to take him out before he can take me over to the fiery bull blacks. Oh, hey! Now this guy's cooperating. Well, how lovely. Yep, I've seen I've seen this. You guys can start building that, but we're keeping an eye on those berry plants and it's It's going to be, like, watch. The berries are going to spawn in. And then those land leeches are going to appear out of nowhere. Look at that. Like, they literally weren't there two seconds ago. There we go. Okay. Oh, no, you don't. There we go. 
And that takes out all the land leeches. Yep, they materialize from the void just to eat the berries the instant that they grow. It's super annoying. Okay, the Fiery Bulblax is going to be tough. I think for, for the Fiery Bulblax, we are going to need to utilize the Bitter Spray. Because I really... There's no real way of defeating him reliably with Red Pikmin. Like, they just don't do enough damage to kill him before he can start eating them. Unfortunately, that gives us another Bitter Spray. Okay, you... There we go. We'll carry the guy who's the leaf. That's probably a good idea, but I'm but I'm gonna choose to ignore your advice. All right, <laughs> get our red Pikmin. All 55 of them. Yeah, fiery bulb wax here. Uh, all right. There we go. <laughs> we encased him in rock. Also, if you kill an enemy while they're immobilized with the rock, they can drop more bitter sprays. Most impressive, this fierce beast has become as hard as stone in a mere instant. The ultra bitter extract seems to have a side effect that stops beasts in their tracks. Boom. There we go. Just needed a bitter spray. All right. Omar. You can take the white Pikmin. Start busting down this gate. Then we'll get the purple Pikmin and start busting down these eggs that I've neglected. Cool. So now we can get those two guys to be nectrified. Wonderful. And now I can <laughs> make my yellow Pikmin uh, full of nectar as well once we actually get them. In the meantime... You... What? I killed them all! Wow, we we pushed the blowhog corpse real far. It's amazing. Oh man, we're gonna get a lot of yellow Pikmin from all of these corpses. No doubt to that, eh? <laughs> hey, the dog. Welcome. Oh, I'm saving the nectar for the yellow Pikmin because all my yellow Pikmin are gonna be leaf Pikmin. Boo. Oh yeah, I should have left a captain back there for the white Pikmin. Oops. Yes, more bitter spray. More. More! Unfortunately, that stupid... Okay. You know what we're actually going to do? Going to put our purple Pikmin back. Nothing against them, but they are a bit slow, and this way we'll be, we'll be able to get some yellow Pikmin on the field. Do do do. <laughs> There's just all these enemy corpses around. <laughs> oh yes, more more bitter berries. I love this. Louie, you can stay over there. Beautiful. How did the Yellow Pikmin get in there in the first place if there's all this poison stuff blocking their way? Just don't make much sense to me. Alright, but here we go. Yellow Pikmin time. <laughs> so Yellow Pikmin can't carry bomb rocks anymore, but now they're electric. The yellow Pikmin have climbed down the tree and are staring in this direction. 
They appear to be like high places, and they seem to be quite light. They also have very large ears. If I had named them, they would have been called Ear Pikmin, but I will use the name Olmar gave them. Curious, my static electricity sensors are reacting violently. What could this mean? Means that they electric. It's electrifying. All right. Whoa. Yeah, bring those to the yellow onion, please. Louis. Louis. <laughs> Alright, we actually might... <laughs> There's a lot of corpses that I would... No tripping allowed, buddy. No tripping allowed. Thank goodness we got the white Pikmin to help the yellow Pikmin out. Oh my gosh, it's so fast! Okay, we're not going to be able to get all of the corpses to the yellow onion. But we can get a lot of them! Gotta go fast! I like how the numbers will change to the color of the onion that they're bringing it to. That's that's a nice touch. Okay, not... The one I had in mind. Bring the sheer the sheer wig corpse back. That's what I'm looking for. So we won't get any treasure today. We won't get any uh, caves done today. But we will build up our yellow Pikmin army, and that's that's what it's really all about. That's weird. You're taking the long way back, but okay. Yellow Pikmin are one type of Pikmin we definitely will want a lot of. Because the uh, final boss is pretty tough if you don't have, like, 40 Yellow Pikmin. Whoa, we did! Didn't realize. Nope, that's not where I wanted to go. Stop picking the grass. Stop picking the grass. Man, they they really want to pick the grass. Uh-oh. Okay. There aren't any Pikmin around. Okay. All the Pikmin are at the Yellow Base. All right. What I wanted to do was drink all the nectar, but that's not going to happen. Um, there aren't any dumb Pikmin hanging out in the overworld anywhere who got stuck, right? Okay, so help me if they if they don't count that I had that one Pikmin under my control. Because I pulled out a Pikmin, it counted that it was that, but it wasn't under my control. I better not have lost that to Sunset. I'm going to be super ticked if I did. No funds. That's okay, we got more than enough in the last days. Okay, good. Good. 
wanted to make sure, because I would not have put it past the game to do that. Day 5. Olivar! Terrible news! I thought I went to Happy Hockatoot Savings and Loan, but it seems that my loan came from the shop next door. All devouring black hole loan sharks! Oops! That's a pretty big oops right there. <laughs> That's the biggest oops since Captain Crunch accidentally replaced all of his cereal with tarantula eggs. Like, that, that's that's not just a little, like, oh, oops, oh, what a klutz I am. It's like, no, that's, like, a pretty substantial boo-boo right there. <laughs> All right, let's go back to Perplexing Pool. <laughs> now that we got Yellow Pikmin, we can go to the Citadel of Spiders. And we also want to get more Yellow Pikmin to break down some of them electric fences. Oops, all tarantula eggs. Oh, you know, it just, it happens sometimes. Captain Crunch doesn't know what to do. <laughs> All right. Yellow Pikmin. We gotta find you guys some nectar. Well, there was grass back in this other area, so... That's a start. And there's also a treasure there that we can grab. Cool. Oh, cool, the eggs are back. I love that. Ooh! Gotta be careful. <gasps> oh, that's a spray. Okay. That's a spray on the ground, and I'm going to show you guys a cool trick you can do. The red liquid you see contains refined ultra-spicy essence. One drop contains one dose. Pressing down on the D-pad to spray uh, this extract on your entire group. Okay. Alright, cool. That's like all of my yellow pigment. Almost all my yellow. Okay. Here's what we can do. Move, move one of your captains close to the spicy spray. Use your other captain to slowly push your captain into the spray. Until he starts drinking, then move in and drink, and then boom, we get two sprays for one. <laughs> Definitely take advantage of that trick. And this game is difficult enough that you absolutely are allowed to take advantage of that. Don't even feel the slightest bit bad about that. Oh, hey, and there are pebbles over here, too. Pebbles and bam bam. Come on. Okay, this is annoying. Throwing the yellow Pikmin up really high can be a little irritating. There we go. Now, let's make sure you guys don't do anything stupid like just run into a lake or get hit by sheer wigs. I don't want any more accidentes along the way. Come on, hurry it up, man! I don't got all day. We should also make preps for going into the Citadel of Spiders. Citadel of Spiders, we're going to want all of our whites, all of our purples, and we're going to want mostly yellows and a few reds. Because the fire hazards are very easy to take down with just a couple reds. The electric hazards, we're going to want a lot of yellows for, though. Alright! The impediment scourge. Is that so? That's a wine opener, isn't it? Or like a, like the wind-up thing for, like, a doll. Wait, no, 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 no. Why, what do you mean? I thought if you would deposit people back into the onion, it would deposit the ones that have leaves, but maybe not. Alright. Extract our 15 whites. Our 25 purples. Then I think we'll get 35 uh, yellows. And then 25 reds. 
That seems like a good bunch. All right, we're off to the Citadel of Spiders, and everybody's got a flower already, which is great. We might lose them in this cave, though. 